Welcome back to Move with Nicole. Today's class is a yoga Pilates workout that will strengthen and stretch your hips. So when you're ready to get started, roll out your mat and let's begin. Let's start today's class standing at the top of our mat. With your feet hip distance apart in parallel, Really stand up nice and tall and turn your palms forward. Open your chest, roll your shoulders down and back and bring your awareness into this present moment. Really root down through your heels as you grow taller through the crown of your head. On your next inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Then exhale, bend your elbows wide and open through your heart center. And again, inhale as you lengthen through your arms. Exhale as you pull your elbows open and lift through your chest. Two more. And last one. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your arms up. Then exhale, bend your knees and dive over your legs. Keeping your knees bent, just take a moment here to release any tension through your spine. Hold on to your elbows and just sway side to side. Then release your hands down to the floor, halfway lift on your inhale, nice straight spine, and exhale, fold over your legs. Step your feet back into a high plank, shoulders over wrists, then lower your knees to the floor, untuck your toes and come down onto your belly. Bring your arms down by your sides with your palms down. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest, lift your arms and lift your legs off the floor. Really squeeze your glutes, roll your shoulders back, draw your belly button in. One more deep breath in and exhale, release back down. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, press yourself up, tuck your toes under and press back to a downward facing dog. Let's take a moment here to pedal our heels, alternate bending our knees, just to release any tension through the back of our legs. Then draw both heels down towards the floor, really lengthening through your spine and take a nice deep breath in and deep breath out. On your next inhale, ripple your spine forward to high plank, draw your belly button in, then exhale, bend your knees and press back. And again, ripple forward on your inhale, bend your knees, press back on your exhale. Two more. And last one. Beautiful job. Ripple your spine forward again to plank and then lower down onto your knees. Make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath your hips and you're drawing your belly button up to your spine. Let's warm up our hips now. So open your left knee out wide to the side, circle it around and lower it back down. So you open, circle it around and lower. Just two more in this direction and then we'll reverse it. Good job, now reverse. Press your leg back, open the knee out to the side and lower. So you lift, open and lower, just two more. And last one, beautiful. Hold your knee pressed back, extend your left leg straight and reach your right arm forward by your ear. Really lengthen through your spine, draw your navel in, engaging your core. Then bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand for the top of your left foot. On your inhale, press your foot into your hand, lift your chest and really point your toes up to the sky feeling a beautiful stretch through your hip and through your shoulder. Take one more deep breath in 
and then exhale carefully release your arm and leg straight and lower it back down to the floor let's take a nice inhale arch your spine look up then exhale round your spine and gaze towards your navel beautiful job return to a neutral spine and let's switch sides so open your right knee out to the side circle it around and lower open it out to the side circle and lower just two more keeping your hips nice and square to the floor and now reverse it press your knee back open it out wide and lower three more and two last one good job press your right knee back extend your legs straight and reach your left arm forward in line with your ear find that nice long line draw your navel in then bend your right knee reach back with your left hand for the top of your right foot on your inhale press your foot into your hand and lift your chest really reaching your right toes up to the sky nice deep breaths here one more inhale and then exhale carefully release your arm and your leg long and set your hand and your knee back down onto the floor tuck your toes under and press back into a downward facing dog really press the floor away from you lengthening through your spine as you melt your heels closer down towards the floor then look up in between your hands and carefully tiptoe your feet forward in between your hands halfway lift inhale nice straight spine fold exhale roll up to standing inhale reach your arms up to the sky and exhale lower your hands down to your heart let's step our feet out mat distance apart now with our toes turned out and draw your navel in inhale squat down exhale press up and reach your arms up to the sky inhale squat down hands at chest then exhale press up and reach your arms up just five more like this really shifting your weight into your heels sanding your glutes far behind you let's do two more and on this last one, hold a low in your squat. Take little pulses forming down and down. Just six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Take your hands to the floor. Step back to plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, bend your elbows into chaturanga inhale press open into upward facing dog then exhale shift back to downward facing dog on your next inhale reach your right leg up to the sky then exhale step your right foot forward to the outside edge of your mat and drop your back knee make sure your right knee and your right toes are turned out and then reach your right arm forward by your ear inhale turn your chest open then exhale, turn your chest down to the floor. Inhale as you twist open. Exhale as you turn your chest down to the floor. Two more. And last one, let's hold open in our twist and then bend your left knee and hold on to the back of your foot. On your inhale, press your foot into your hand, open through your shoulder. Then exhale, carefully draw your heel in towards your glute. Keep melting into your hips, taking nice deep breaths. Carefully release your foot now, return your hands to the floor, tuck your back toes under, and on your inhale, press back into a three-legged dog, reaching your right leg up to the sky. Then exhale, pull your knee forward and step your foot in between your hands. Keeping your back knee bent, inhale, press up into your lunge. Then exhale, extend your back leg straight. Good job, really draw your navel in, lengthen through the side of your waist. Take one more deep breath in. 
Then exhale, return your hands to the floor and step back into your Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, roll your shoulders back. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Other side, reach your left leg up to the sky, inhale. Then exhale, step your left foot to the outside edge of your mat and drop your back knee. Really lift your chest and then reach your left arm forward in line with your ear. Inhale, turn your chest open, reach your left hand to the back of the mat and exhale, turn your chest down to the floor. Three more. Two more. And last one, let's hold open in our twist. Bend your back knee and reach back for the top of your foot. Inhale, press your foot into your hand. Then exhale, draw your heel in towards your glute. Keep rolling your left shoulder back, opening through your heart as you melt your hips down. Then carefully release your foot, take your hands to the floor, tuck your toes under and on your inhale, press back to a three-legged dog. Then exhale, pull your knee forward and step your foot in between your hands. Keeping your back knee bent, inhale, reach up into your lunge, really tuck your pelvis under, then exhale, straighten your back leg. Lengthen through the side of your waist as you bend deep into your front knee. Take another deep breath in and then exhale, take your hands down to the floor and step back into your Chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale, open through your heart. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Let's take a nice deep breath in and deep breath out. Look up in between your hands. Carefully hop or step your feet to the outside edge of your mat. Sit your hips low, inhale, finding your low squat. Then exhale, press up to standing, bring your hands to your chest. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, look up. Exhale, sit low into your squat. Then inhale, hands to the floor, step back to plank. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale, thighs off the floor. Then exhale, downward facing dog. Straight away, lift your right leg up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, pull your knee forward, step up in between your hands. Keeping your back knee bent, inhale, reach up into your lunge. Then exhale, straighten your back leg. Really melt into your right knee here. Draw your inner thighs together. Then on your next inhale, shift your weight forward to your right leg. Kick your left leg back, finding your balance. Then exhale, straighten your right leg and really grow long through your spine. Then with control, come up to standing, pull your left knee high into your chest, inhale. Exhale, fold your left foot over your right and bend your knee, coming into a glute stretch. Bring your hands to your chest, roll your shoulders back and really bend nice and low into that right leg. Then on your next inhale, lift your left knee up to the sky and exhale, carefully step back into warrior two, really bending deep into that right knee. Really stretch through your arms and your fingers as you look over your right fingertips. Then flip your right palm up, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle stretch, bring your right forearm to your right thigh and stretch your left arm by your ear. On your inhale, rotate your chest up to the sky. Exhale, bend into your right knee a little deeper. Then press back up into your strong warrior two and straighten your right leg. Pivot your toes forward so that you're in a wide stance. Interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale, open through your heart and exhale, dive forward over your legs allowing your hands to fall behind you, feeling a beautiful stretch through the back of your legs and through your hips.
Then carefully release your hands down to the earth. Halfway lift on your inhale. Then exhale, lunge over into your left knee and flex your right foot. Bring your hands to your chest, press your left elbow into your left knee and open through your heart as you sink your hips nice and low. This should feel really nice for your hips. Then carefully pivot over your left shoulder. Inhale, step back into your high plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale, open through your heart. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Other side, reach your left leg up to the sky, inhale. Then step your left foot in between your hands on your exhale. Keeping your back knee bent, inhale, reach up into your lunge. Then exhale, straighten your back leg. Really lengthen through the side of your waist as you bend deep into your left knee. Then on your next inhale, shift your weight forward to your left leg, reach your right leg back, and then exhale straight in your left leg. Really reach back through your right toes as you reach forward through the crown of your head. Then with control, lift your right knee into your chest, inhale, and exhale, fold your right foot over your left thigh, coming into your glute stretch. Really bend into your left knee, flex your right foot, and keep your hands at your heart. One more deep breath in, and deep breath out. Then lift your right knee into your chest, inhale, and exhale, carefully step back into your warrior two. Really bending into your left knee, making sure your left knee is stacked over your ankle. Then flip your left palm up, reverse warrior on your inhale. And exhale, side angle stretch, bringing your left forearm to your right thigh. Really reach your right arm by your ear and turn your chest up towards the sky. Keep pressing down firmly through the outside edge of your right foot, keeping your legs engaged. Then press back up into your warrior two and pivot your left toes forward coming into your wide legged stance. Interlace your hands behind your back, inhale open through your heart and exhale fold forward. Allow your arms to fall back behind you as you reach the crown of your head down towards the floor. Try to keep the front of your thighs engaged as you feel a nice stretch through the back of your legs. Then release your hands down to the floor, halfway lift on your inhale. Then exhale, bend into your right knee, coming into your side lunge. Make sure your left foot is flexed and bring your hands to your chest, really lifting and opening through your heart. Use your right elbow to press your right knee open to feel a deeper stretch. Then bring your hands to the floor, pivot over your right shoulder. Inhale, step back into plank. Exhale, bend your elbows, chaturanga. Upward facing dog on your inhale and downward facing dog on your exhale. Look up in between your hands and then carefully walk or hop your feet to the outside edge of your mat. Inhale, sit low into your squat. Exhale, press up to standing, hands at your heart. Then inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, look up. Exhale, squat down, hands at your chest. Inhale, bring your hands to the floor, step back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Lower down onto your knees now. And let's come on to the left side of our body for a little Pilates clam series. So bend your knees, stack your hips on top of one another and really lift up through the underside of your waist. On your exhale, open your right knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Making sure that your hips are staying stacked on top of one another, 
you're just opening that right knee. One more. Good job. Let's add on now. Inhale, open your knee. Exhale, extend your leg out straight. Inhale, bring your toes together and exhale, close. So inhale, open, exhale, extend. Inhale, toes tap, exhale, close your knees. Three more like this. This is a really great way to strengthen our hips. On this last one, hold your leg extended out long. Bring your right fingertips to the floor in front of you. Then inhale, sweep your right leg forward. Exhale, lift it up and back down. So inhale as you sweep forward. Exhale as you lift it up and back down. Three more in this direction. Really focusing on keeping your right hip stacked on top of your left hip. Let's reverse the circle now. So inhale, lift the leg up, exhale, sweep it forward and back. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you sweep it forward and back. Three more. This is really great for the health of our hips. And last one. Now hold your leg back for me, reach your right arm up to the sky and let's take little pulses up and up. Just eight more, seven, six, five, little higher, four, three, two, and one. Good job, release your leg down, press yourself up, coming into a mermaid position. Then bring your left hand to the floor and sweep your right arm around and back, lifting your hips up nice and high. Then carefully release your hips down and you guessed it, let's take it to the other side. So come down onto the right side of your body, bend your knees and make sure your hips are stacked on top of one another. On your exhale, open your left knee, inhale, close. Exhale, open, inhale, close. Three more like this. Really opening your knee as wide as you can without moving your hip. Good job. Now inhale, open your knee. Exhale, extend your leg. Inhale, tap your toes. Exhale, close your knee. Four more. When you extend your leg out, try to kick it out in line with your body. Two more. And last one. Hold your leg extended out, take your left fingertips in front of you, then inhale, kick your leg forward, exhale, lift it up and down. So nice big circles here. Three more, keeping them as controlled as you can. Two more. And last one. Now let's reverse it. Inhale, kick your leg up. Exhale, sweep it forward and back. Inhale, kick it up. Exhale, sweep it forward and back. Three more. Nice big circle. Two. And one. Hold your leg extended back. Reach your left arm up to the sky and take 10 pulses up and up. Just eight more seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really good job. Lower your leg down. Press yourself up into your mermaid position. Then take your right hand to the floor and inhale, sweep your left arm around and back, lifting your hips. And then release your hips back down, cross your legs, and let's shift our weight forward, returning into our plank position. Take an inhale to prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward facing dog, exhale. Let's stay in our final downward facing dog for one more deep breath in and deep breath out. 
then ripple your spine forward on your inhale and exhale lower yourself all the way down to your belly come up onto your forearms roll your shoulders back open your chest then keeping your right forearm on the floor bend your left knee and reach back for your left foot with your hand pull your heel in towards your glute and stay here or if you'd like to pivot your fingers around to face the front of the mat bend your elbow and carefully press your heel to the outside edge of your glute try to keep your chest square to the front of your mat and really stay lifted through your chest then carefully release your foot and let's switch sides bring your left forearm to the floor bend your right knee reach back for your right foot and just draw your heel in towards your glute stay there or if you want a deeper stretch pivot your right fingertips around to the front of your mat bend your elbow and press your foot down to the outside edge of your glute stay lifted through your chest taking nice deep breaths then carefully release your foot and lower down onto your chest bend both knees now and reach back for your ankles with your hands flex your feet on your inhale press your feet into your hands to lift your chest then exhale press your heels up to the sky keep your feet flexed or point your toes whatever feels good for you take nice deep breaths here feeling a beautiful stretch for your hips and for your shoulders one more deep breath in really open through your heart and exhale lower everything back down beautiful job inhale press yourself up and exhale press back into a child's pose just taking a moment here to reset our spine after that beautiful back bend then vertebra by vertebra roll your spine up to seated and let's make our way onto our glutes bend your right knee extend your left leg out long then inhale reach your right arm up and exhale side bend over to the left turning your chest up to the sky feeling a beautiful stretch through the left side of your body then come back up and switch sides bend your left knee extend your right leg out inhale reach your left arm up and exhale side bend over to the right then carefully come back up bring the soles of your feet together with your knees apart inhale lengthen through your spine and exhale hinge forward from your hips keeping your spine as straight as you can feeling a beautiful release through your hips lift your chest and just slide your feet further forward inhale lengthen your spine and this time as you exhale round your spine forward bringing your forehead to the soles of your feet this should feel like a beautiful release for your spine and for your hips then very carefully roll your spine up to seated cross your legs sit up nice and tall and let's finish our practice today with one last big inhale reach your arms up to the sky and exhale lower your hands down to your heart Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's yoga Pilates workout. If you want to see more classes like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend or family member and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again and have the most beautiful day.